Generative AI allows you to perform tasks such as creating alt text from images. But once we have that alt text, how do we actually attach it to an image? Instead of attaching it manually, we can actually use the on success handler to apply this to any image. Here we have an upload that is going to upload an image that is a cheeseburger and use the detection to actually create the captioning for the image. So if I run this npm run start and the result we get back from Cloudinary will include this captioning here and it says status complete and it has a caption that says a hamburger with a toothpick sticking out of it sitting on a wooden countertop with a blurry background. Now, if we go ahead and look at the actual image, you'll see that that's pretty close to what it is. So we can use this as alt text. So now we have the result. How do we actually attach this to the image? So we can use something called on success. Now this on success takes a string and this string allows us to set anything afterwards on the asset itself. So here we're going to set two things. One, we're going to set a tag to tell it that it was created through AI. And secondly, we're going to attach the captioning from AI onto the image itself. So every time we upload any images, whether it's a hundred images or one, this will be automatically added so that the alt text is always there. So the first thing we need is the current asset and then we're going to update it. So we can pull this in and then inside of here is where we're going to do the work. So we're going to add tags here and we're going to add just one that says auto generated just so that we know this tag was auto generated and it wasn't done by a human so that we can look at all of those and make sure that they're correct by filtering them out. Then we're going to use the word context here and the context is where we're actually going to set the asset up with this new caption that we retrieved. Now the way that this works essentially is we're going to tell it where we've got the info available and what we should attach it to. Inside of our context here, we're going to add the word caption. So from that, we can access the upload info by using e.upload underscore info. And then from there, we're just going to optional chain our way across until we get to the caption. So the next part would be dot info, then dot detection, then it's captioning then the data from the caption itself, and then finally caption. Now, if all of this is there, then we'll upload it. Otherwise, we just won't do this and it won't fill in the context. At this point, we're ready to actually test this out. If we run npm run start, we should see that the upload is successful and then our unsuccess hook is also run and that should come back as successful as well. So if we run npm run start, you'll see that this has been completed. And then you see in the hook execution here, on success status, equals success. Now, if we head over to Cloudinary itself, we can actually look at this uploaded image and we can look at the caption that was added. As you can see, we have two images here. This one has no info on it itself. You can see there's no caption here on the metadata. But if I click on this one here, you can see there is now a caption here, which is the same one as before. And we've also added auto caption as a tag. Not only can we generate captions, Next up, we'll see how we can automatically generate the tags.